Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Very good morning to you in the name of our Lord God and Savior King Jesus Christ. And once again, welcome to Good Morning Jesus. Give us this day our daily bread. Let's take the word of God from the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 24. With that, whatever you ask, you know, believe that you have received it. So, whatever we ask God, the Bible tells us, whatever we ask God, let's believe that you have received it. Because and this word of God is basically telling us about the type of confidence that we need to have. Because we need to know from whom are we asking. Now, for example, a small child in their house comes and asks his father for something, maybe a cricket ball or a football. Because he knows and he's very confident that when I ask my dad, my dad will give it to him. Well, if he goes and asks this with a stranger whom he does not know, or somebody with whom he's not very confident, he may not receive that, that what he wants. So when he asks with his father, there is a level of confidence at which he can get his things done. But this word of God, what we're listening now, is far beyond that. Because God has got all things at his disposal. God has got all things at his disposal. Now I remember a young boy, a young boy asking his dad for a cricket bat and ball. Okay. Now immediately at that point of time when the son asked for the little boy asked him, the father could not buy and give it to him. But then, a few months later down the line, he brought that bat and ball and gave it to the son. The son was happy, but not very excited about it. Because when the son had asked the father, he had asked it at the time when the school had organized a coaching camp for young students, young players who would be interested in joining the camp and to play for the state or for the school. But then at that time when he did not get the bat and the ball, he couldn't be included in that coaching camp. A few months later when he gets the bat and the ball, it is like the coaching was over, the camp was over, and the whole schedule and the selection camp was over. So this boy had to just be content with what he got from his father. He never got it on time. So the earthly father may sometimes be able to give us on time or later after time. But God our Father is not like that. My dear brothers and sisters, all things are there at His disposal. At any given point of time, that what we ask in the name of the Lord will be made available to us. There is nothing in the world which He cannot do and there is nothing in the world which He cannot give. That's the reason why the Bible wants us to believe that when we ask God for something, when you ask God for something, believe that you have received it. Yes, when you have believed it in your heart that you have received it. Why? Because, because uh, there should be no reason why you should not believe because you know it is not that that what you're asking God he may not have it or he may have to prepare it and give it to you or uh, he may have to search for it and give it to you no it's like it's already there at his disposal we have asked God for something we need to receive it it is made available to us it's made available to us sometimes people are like this it's like oh the Bible tells it like this okay uh, maybe brother Amlesh also told like this and now I ask God I must get it immediately this and that remember one thing your heavenly father knows what to give you when and when to give you what okay and same thing with me and all of us so maybe i ask god for something today and uh, and if the lord feels that it is the need of the hour for today then god will surely make it available for you and for me at this very moment but if the lord feels that it is not necessarily important for me at this point of time and uh, god knows better when we need it most he will make it available to you and to me at that time and not today Okay, so allow God to work. If you ask God, if we have asked God, let's believe that we have received it and God in his own time will make all things available and possible to us in our life. Okay, so let's close our eyes and let's pray to God and ask God to work that miracle in our life. Okay, come on. Father God in heaven, we believe and we trust in every prayer that we've done to you and everything that we've asked you, for sure you have blessed us and you have made all things possible. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for everything that you've given us in honor of your name and coming of the kingdom of God. We make this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Our Lord, Amen, Amen and Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, till we meet again, have a nice day. God bless you. Believe and trust in God for everything and God will make all things possible.